Now that we've got Flycast running, there are additional options that can make it even better. We can go to Settings, Controls tab, back to the Xbox One controller, Arcade Controls. This was our settings earlier. Now what we want to do now is unmap the coin, map the service button to R2, and map the test button to L2. Now we can remap select to the menu. And done. Click done again to exit the settings. Alt F4 to close the flycast window. And then we can go back to launch box. Let's start our game. Alt Enter to go back to full screen. Now we can press the L2 button. And this brings up the system menu. This is essentially the same as entering the BIOS of your PC. So we select with test, which is your L2, and we enter with R2, which is the service button. So what we want to do is go to coin settings, enter, and under game mode, instead of normal, what you want to do is free play. Now what this does is you no longer need to insert coins, and the arcade will be free to play for all. Save and exit. Next is Configuration, Enter, System Settings. The default is Japan, so we want to change this to English. North America, select English, sound is on, stereo, save and exit. Next is game settings. Here you can adjust your life count. Default is 3. You can go all the way up to 9. You can change difficulty. Maximum is 8. And it cycles back. Save and exit. Exit, exit. It reboots back into the game. It's free to play. The text is in English. We no longer need a coin, so we can just start. The life count is 9, 8 including the current player. If we press select, it brings up the emulator menu. That's all I wanted to show. Hope you found that useful. See you next time.